Have you ever wondered how beautiful fun and decorations are made or if it's even possible to make them as a beginner? Well, you know, kids, they don't, they don't need experience to make amazing Play-Doh creations. They just need really cool Play-Doh kits. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make beautiful fun, mermaid fondant decorations using my favorite mermaid fondant mold. My name is Gemma and on my channel, I bake and craft everything on my dessert tables. If you would like to learn how you can make simple dessert tables for your family, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Let's start crafting. The first thing you want to do is soften your rolled fondant by kneading it with your warm hands. A small amount of shortening on the fondant also helps to soften it and keep it from getting sticky while you're kneading it. Next step is to color the fondant. You want to add small amounts of color at a time until you achieve the color you want. You want to keep your fondant covered at all times. I like to keep my fondant covered under a glass cup while I'm working with it. The first mermaid decoration we are going to be making is the starfish. So you want to measure a small amount of fondant that you think you're going to end up using. Before you squeeze any fondant into any mold, you want to dust the mold with confectioner's sugar. I do like using my rolling pin to push the fondant down. Using my plastic scraper, I am removing the excess fondant off. The secret to having fun with fondant molds is learning how to put just enough fondant in the mold and to be able to scrape off only a small amount. Using too much fondant means you have to scrape off a lot of fondant and sometimes what happens is I end up removing too much fondant and then I have to add um, extra fondant in the end. Using your fingers it's important to soften the edges of your design all the way around so that you get clean edges all the way around your fondant decoration. Then you want to release your decoration by bending the mold, being careful not to wreck the shape of your fondant decoration. I went ahead and made the rest of my colors and I will continue to make the rest of my decorations in the same way. I really love this built-in mermaid mold. I believe that it is easy to use for beginners. The molds have a perfect depth. It bends well, making it easy to remove your fondant decorations. When I decorate with my kids and my nieces and my nephews, they love using all my fondant molds and they're able to make really beautiful decorations successfully. This mold is perfect for a mermaid project. I would have to say that the tail is the most finicky out of all the designs on this mold. The reason why is because the depth where the tail is, is not that deep. So when I go to scrape it with the spatula, I do tend to scrape too much out of it. This is why I decided, okay, I want to shape my, my fondant first so that it's somewhat the shape of the mold and try to squeeze it into the mold so that I don't end up having to scrape it if possible. Using a large soft brush, you want to dust off all of the confectioner sugar. I am dusting all of my decorations with luster dust using a soft brush. You can do this now or you can do it the day after when your fondant decorations have dried up a bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next, I am making seaweed, which is super easy to make, and you definitely want to let these dry overnight or even two days before, especially if they are larger pieces or if your fondant is thick. All I'm doing is uh, cutting irregular strips of fondant and then just twisting them. And that's pretty much how um, seaweed is made. I'm now making some coral reefs. I started off with a tube of fondant divided into three pieces. Using my metal ball tool, I'm creating a crater on the end of one side and thinning the sides a little. To glue my fondant pieces together, I just use the brush and a little bit of water. I decided I want my coral reef to have four pieces and all of them are going to be different lengths. The nice thing about coral reefs is that you can make these funny fondant shapes and they would probably look like coral reef as long as the um, colors are really nice. The next coral reef is super easy to make. As you can see, I'm literally got a small ball of fondant. I'm allow I am allowing it to find at the bottom and I'm just poking holes all over it. It doesn't look very pretty now, but it is gonna look really cute on my mermaid cake. I decided to dust it with dark green dust to add more depth, but it is not necessary and that's pretty much how you make this really easy coral reef. So all of my mermaid fondant decorations are made. I'm going to let them dry overnight. I will be setting up the dessert table tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to add all my fondant decorations to my cupcakes and my cake. It's finally time to decorate our cupcakes. I really love the idea of having all of my cupcakes look different and it is a lot more fun being able to decorate them when they're different. I'm really happy with how my cupcakes turned out and I'm so excited to share my next video next week on how I decorated my mermaid cake using the rest of the decorations I made in this video. I had a really fun time making my mermaid decorations for you guys using my favorite Wilton mermaid fondant mold. If you enjoyed my video and you found it helpful, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so you get notified every single time I post another video. And please share it with your family and friends if you think they'll enjoy it as well. Until next time, guys, happy baking and crafting. Bye!